Hi 3D printer lovers and welcome to Frank's 3D shop and today let's make a small modification on the Monoprice Select Mini printer. <laughs> So today we'll do a modification of the, this little printer. The fan on the hot end is introducing vibrations in the prints or at least on the head. And when I touch the head, I can sense the vibration and it also does some noise. So I'm going to replace this with the Noctua uh, fan, which I have here, a Noctua fan which is a 40 millimeters wide fan compared to the 30 millimeters that's already on the printer. So I have printed the, an adapter to put this bigger fan in place of the smaller one. Uh, but first, let, let me show you something. Let me show you what I've printed. And I'm, I'm gonna show you how it, it was assembled, but this is a lightsaber. from Star Wars made by designed by Juri Pranjic thanks Juri and it has a lot of details look at that isn't that beautiful just need a a bit of paint I think I'm gonna give this at Christmas for one of the kids Look at that. Isn't that cool? Even the little belt clip. <laughs> and the cat is <laughs> asking what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's do the modification. First, let's bring you closer. Let's take those out. There you go. I'm going to bring the mic this close. Let's see. Okay, listen with the mic with no automatic gain control, the noise that the, make, that the fan makes. Turn off the printer. Maybe turn the printer over. Cut the little tie wrap. I think I've cut this tie wrap 20 times. <laughs> Let's take out the fan. There you go. Ooh. Okay. And then let's unwrap this a bit. Okay. I'm going to put the link below of that shroud. So it's really light. Didn't print really well here because there was no support. I should have included support, but maybe I'm going to reprint it on the small printer. But anyway, it's going to do for now. So that should be fine. Yep. Okay, the other way. Hmm. Oh, I see. There is a slot here. That should be easier to pass. 
Ah. Yep, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Which way? So you see here, it blows that way. So I want to blow air on the hot hand. So that means that this should be this way. Pull and push. That's it. That's it. And if you see this fan is on ball bearings, so it turns really, really easily. It's a really well-designed and high-end fan. Yeah, you see at the end of the, the blades, there is some lines, so that prevents noise. Now I have a problem because the how, how I'm gonna, ah, uh, yeah. Will I be able? Yeah, yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be able to screw in. Okay, so this will be like that. And then I have to connect this. I should have put the, f the screws first. And be careful not to damage the fan or <laughs> put the screw in first. <laughs> Let's take that out. Be careful. You did it like me, but screw in first and then put in the fan. That seems to be good. Is this going to be on the, in the way? Is the screws going to be too long? Eh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's rubbing against this. There's a gap now. Upper screws need to be filed down a bit. Okay. I don't know if I can. Yeah, you can remove those. You pull, you pull on this and just move the fan up you pull on this move the fan up and up and up and then you remove the fan so that's gonna be better so let's do it the proper way so i can remove the two upper screws let's file them down oh better than that Try this. Ow, ow, ow. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Eh. Need a bit more, uh, a bit less. Let's try again. Okay. So now everything is good. Nothing is catching on. Let's put in the, the fan again. It's gonna be here. That's okay. Okay, and do you do the same? You pull on the you pull hard on the tabs and then they go in. That's it. Will this be good? No. Or maybe I can just rub those around. Or maybe I just don't put any connectors. This is warranted for five years. So, yeah. I don't know. Do I just cut the wire? Why do I put it like that? No, that's too much okay okay first let's try if it works and if the airflow is enough or seems to be okay so i'm just gonna do a temporary connection red on red okay let's let's put some solder so you skin and the the end twist them and then So I'm pre-tinning, just putting some solder on the tips. So I should be able to connect black on black and 
red on red. Let's try this. Is that a hot end? Say to a hundred. Okay, good. The fan came on. Yes. Air is really passing by. There is absolutely no vibration, none. And the only fan I hear now is the power supply fan. And if I put you near this one now. Nothing, good. Okay, now let's turn down, turn off the printer. Now I'm gonna cut the wire and connect this. I don't want anything else. That's it. You put back the heat shrink. Rewrap this around. Let's try it one last time, see if it works. Say 100 degrees, degrees, 100 degrees. It is noiseless and it, yeah, it makes absolutely no noise. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, I think that's a good modification for this little printer. It makes less noise than before. So for printing inside, not to make too much noise, um it makes sense uh, it's not that uh expensive and uh, easy to do uh you could also crimp some connectors if you don't want to solder the the wires but because this fan is warranted for five years uh it has ball bearings and everything uh it makes sense to just you know solder the the, the wires so because i won't change it soon so that's it and uh, have uh, happy holidays to you all. Thank you. Ciao. And let's look at the attack from the gnomes. Oh.